Alright, let's check out Arc New Line. New Arc Line. God, Arc New Line. New Arc Line. Just went into early access today. Oh, right, I gotta make sure I got the, the things. Because we got the game courtesy of Key Mailer. Make sure we do all the things appropriately. Check the box. Ba -da -ba. Perfect. All right. Ugh. All right. This is my deuter, I assume. Human? Elf? Yeah, we'll go elf. Angel. Oh. Uh Aha. -huh. Mmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Oh. 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 Oi. Hey, Khaled. Oh. 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 <laughs> Steampunk elf. What's up? How's your day then? Okay, that's not so bad. That armor, though. Oh, damn. We have fancy elf. Good. Right on. This is a, a new tactical RPG that just went into uh, early access today. Steampunk fantasy hybrid kind of theme. Yeah. We, we got... Diesel or diesel punk, I guess, would be the right thing. Voodoo shaman. Or, oh, I got two choices: voodoo shaman or di diesel engineer. Expert in firearms and skilled creators of cutting-edge diesel gadget. You never know when a jetpack might come in handy to bail you out of a tight spot. Perfect. Traits: monster hunter. Every fantasy game just has to have that bowl cut, huh? Yes, yes, they do. Uh, Monster Hunter, okay. Thief Mediator, wow. Years as a thief taught you survival, but your observation of people's behaviors and weaknesses also made you strong in rhetoric. Hmm. And of course there's an outbreak. Scholar, your education in an ancient monastery exposed you to a wealth of forbidden knowledge, blah, 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 blah. It'd be good if I was taking the one class, but I'm not. Explorer. Engineering air, natural inventor and inventor and innovator, and your work is always top notch. You create superior devices. That's tempting. Steam guild engineer, master of steam engines, able to modify or repair any steam device with little difficulty. Or monster hunter, revenge and learn the art of monster hunting. You know their weaknesses allows you to deal extra damage in combat. Um, hmm. Those are my two choices. I wonder if, for the sake of, I just want to. Okay, it's still the same two classes. All right, we'll go with the fancy elf boy. Yeah, we'll go diesel engineer. And we'll just do basic. Oh, I get that. Oh, 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 let me see. Actually, plus one wisdom, intellect, constitution. Bum, 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 bum. Diesel technology 20. I mean, as a diesel engineer, it kind of makes sense. Or steam technology. But if this is my main duder, I want to have extra. Uh, uh, mm, mm. All right. Up our con and strength each. One point. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Okay. Dex and perception need to go up because, yeah. 
because I'm using firearms and whatnot, so. Yeah. Diesel tech, 60. That's probably good. Athletics. I'm gonna. Oh, no, maybe I'm not. Pump these. Bit more into survival. Bit more into observation. 20 into endurance. We need to be able. We, we need to be able to endure. Persuasion up. Insight up. And those last five points we'll put into athletics. This is probably going to go <laughs> horribly wrong, but, you know, we're going to do it anyway. Pounding combat quest expert. Uh, lighter mode with support use to ease combat. Ideal for those wanting to focus on story expert. We'll go classic. Screw it. Long ago in the days when the world teetered on the brink of chaos, it was ruled by powerful... Jesus. The world changed with every heartbeat brimming with wonders and mysteries. This goes really fast. Their ancient magic dissolved into the dust of time. Then came science. became the new wizards lol humanity reached heights never before imagined a bright tra bleh, a true bright future so it's a battle between magic and science or something maybe Okay, that's it. That's it. That's a load icon. Or a graphic. Well. Get ready for the diesel punk. Here you have risen. And the diesel grenadiers overran the last stronghold of the Hellfire Order. Defeating Elidris and the Storm, and ending the third Magotech War. Okay. Lucky you were not crushed by the wreckage of exploding airships. The poor fellow beside you was not that fortunate. Squashed by a steering hydraulic relay. You need to move before anything else falls on you from the scrambling from the crumbling sky. Step by step, you have to stop this madness. You still can do it. Try to free the guy from the relay. Nope. Oh, it must be here. Oh, please. It has to be. Can I help you? Help me? <laughs> Not even the Weavers can help us now. In fact, it seems they all want us dead. So nobody knows what happened. What are you looking for? My ring. After what happened to my wife, it's all I had left of her. Oh, please. It must be here somewhere. Please, please. He redoubles his efforts. You see one of his fingernails snap off before you look away. He didn't even flinch. Oof. Yep, good luck, bro. Select the highlight objects. Alt the highlight interactables. All right. Oh. I see. I guess we're gonna click on things. See what's interactable and what isn't. Can I can I rotate the camera? I can. There we go. 
loot. Big rock. There's the ring. Uh, yeah, we'll go give Buddy his ring. Pick up your things. I, we, thank you. Man starts rocking back and forth and stares into the distance with glassy eyes. He slowly caresses the hand holding the ring with the other one, leaving a faint trail of blood on it. There's no point in talking to him anymore. Well, okay. What's with the portals? And all the crazy guys. One might be deceived by the apparent weightlessness of this platform, which suggests mobility. But closer scrutiny reveals that it is in fact a section. Why am I wearing a Johnny shirt? What is happening? Fortified steel, a load that even the giants could not. And there's my butt. Touch. Oh, I wanted Steam Fantasy shenanigans. Instead, it's more depression, depression simulator, right? At least so far. Hopefully, it gets better. Why is it lagging? There's a strong flow of steam blocking the way. Maybe this inconspicuous red. But yeah, right at the moment, the it seems very grim, dark. Ooh, dice rolls. Wow. Okay. It's gonna be like that, is it? Use them to rotate the... Yeah, I know that already. Thank you. Without their commander or magical powers, those... Crying out in pain, a huge metal rod protrudes from his leg. The pool of blood he lies in is only getting larger. It may already be too late to help him. Every second counts. Am I hallucinating? It seemed as though the world itself was coming apart. Then that damn dragon appeared out of nowhere. Are you real? A living person in all this chaos? Please help me. That thing in my leg is killing me. What happened? I have no clue. There was a bright, fra bright, blah, bright flash... Then something hit me, hard. When I came to my senses, this damn metal was sticking, was already stuck in my leg. Who fucking cares? I'm bleeding out and I can't move my cursed leg. Please help me. I don't have time for this. If I happen upon someone, I'll send them to help you. Wow. That bowl cut is a gift. A gift from the family. The bowl of the family. Yes, Matt. Yes. Sorry, bro. You're on your own. Get fucked. Investigate. Oh, oh, dude. Precious little strength remains in the dwarf's trembling arms. He could drop any moment. His surprised look is quickly replaced by a silent plea of aid. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, uh, the dice determines success or failure. Roll two ten-sided dice to get a number from 1 to 100. Roll your skill test rating or lower to succeed. Rolling higher means failure. Wow. Wait, why are you wearing the apron you wear when the doctor checks your bottom? I don't know why I'm wearing a Johnny shirt. That's just how my duder woke up. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. The leg guy staring at you, saving the dwarf leg. <laughs> right? Okay, well, no. You reached over the handrail, grabbed the dwarf's forearm, and pulled it with all your might. After a few tense seconds, you managed to wrestle him to safety. I'm not a doctor. I've got nothing but Johnny shorts and boxers. I can't help, buddy. He's not going to have all my clothes for his bandage. Hey, Angel. Scalding hot steam. I thought I was a gunner for sure. To be honest, I thought for a second that you were going to give that damn cart a push. Wouldn't have surprised me, considering the company you keep. Shady bunch. What the hell is he talking about? You can give him your boxers, swing free. I mean, I could, but you know, in this in this environment, I want to keep as many clothes as I as I possibly can. Going commando in this mess is unsanitary. 
got to protect the weenus. But first impressions ain't for shit, as my grandma used to say. You have my gratitude. It's about all I've got to offer, unfortunately. That that command no longer exists. That doesn't. That, that we're, we're not in Kira's channel. Sorry. But good, good, good attempt, though. I don't even think I still have that redeem. I do not. Hey, you get points for trying. All right, we're 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 just leaving leg guy alone. Like he's he's screwed. Matt ruined it for all of you. That's right. But we do have in recompense. I'll play one for you. I'm sorry, YouTube. I know. I'm even. I'm gonna leave it in the video for YouTube too. Cause yeah. Amazing. A booby trap that actually catches boobies. I mean, that's also true. Oh no, you poor thing. You look battered and exhausted. Could you treat my wounds, please? I'm so sorry, but there's not much I can do for you at the moment. We've run out of supplies. Oh, a nurse. I didn't even read the name. Uh -huh. I can tell I'm not. You can. I can tell I'm not thinking straight, and you can see my hands are trembling. Clear signs of shock. I'm in no state to care for anyone. But there's a medical automaton. It's a bit banged up, but I'm sure it'll be able to help you. Then it's better able to help you than I am. Did you see what happened? No, everything was going perfectly normal. Then chaos started raining down on us, as if the very sky had split open. And with all my years of experience, I could do nothing to help those poor souls. No amount of training can prepare you for whatever this horror is. According to every movie I've seen, if you start slapping the shit out of people, they become competent. That is true. I may have to try that. Maybe I can fix the robot? Examine. Machine is not almost not working. It can't do difficult tasks, but it still works for easy things. It might be, help to get better. Use it for basic medical care. Slap the robot. Yay! I have I have basic care. What is this? I guess we're using the portal. Through the random portal. Ha ha! All sources of magical power were driven from our world. Vanished beyond an impenetrable Oh, good land. lord. Now, everyone may enjoy their guest. I'm not, sla I'm not slapping people with my willy. Not that kind of stream. Feather, grass, saltpeter. One dollar! One whole doll hair! I'm rich! Fuck all you bastards! Not that kind of stream tonight. Yes, exactly. What time can we plan for that stream? How about never? Wait, what, what, what is happening? Okay, okay. I didn't know what was going to happen. LOL. Haley is perpetually thirsty. Oh, who are these assholes? The people in front of you are bent over and coughing hoarsely. A whiff of smoke here and there tells you some of their clothes are all still smoldering. Once they're able to catch their breath, they look dazedly around at their surroundings. Out of the frying pan into the fire. What happened here? No idea, but I bet my left arm had something to do with that cursed war. Those damn mages keep on coming back like roaches, and the technologists can't seem to finish them off. If my thirst is ever quenched, hell has frozen over. I mean, it sometimes it'd be like that. We reap what we sow. The years and years of spilled blood are now raining down on us. Wow. Uh, character cre creation had a bit of crunch to it in terms of the... the stats and abilities, but I only had two classes to start with. And I could either be human or elf. I don't know if that's because things have to be unlocked through playthrough, 
or it's just you're limited in your initial class. It was uh, a diesel engineer, like diesel punk character, or a shaman. So either you could be a technologist or a mage, which may affect your story too, I don't know. I went with diesel punk. And there was some, you had some, some traits that gave certain bonuses and some things. It was, it was interesting. I'm not sure what system this game is based on. Who knows? A lot of things in Harrington's lab can go boom. Oh, so we're in a lab. Good to know. The fire spread like the Iron Plague. We fought hard to escape. Poor Bill. He wasn't quite quick enough. Well, we survived the fire, but now I feel like going back in would be a swifter road to the same end. Wow. Alright, good luck. <laughs> My dude's just like, alright, peace. You told me what I needed to know. I'm out of here. The, the New Ark City. Cradle of new civilization, home of endless possibilities, temple of uncompromising progress. That doesn't sound sketchy at all. At first glance, it seems to be a passageway. But upon closer examination, you see that the entire framework is leaning heavily against the rock. A single misstep There's could my butt. lead to the collapse of multiple <laughs> structures along with tons of raw stone. Best try and find a safe route. Okay. A safer route. But there is no... Oh, wait. We go down. Yep. The fuck was that? Uh... This is New Arc Line, a uh, tactical CRPG shenanigans. Skill check and dialogue. Some dialogues offer unique options related to your character's abilities. A dice roll is used to check your skill against blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, steam. Yeah. Well, it's got steam elements too because I could have been a steam engineer, but I went diesel because my dude is a diesel duder. So, steampunk, diesel punk, fantasy hybrid thing. War between technology and, and magic. These nuts. Diesel nuts. Diesel nuts all over your forehead. Now, now everyone's dead thanks to you. Steven, Mary, even little Joe. He was such a bright lad. The least I can do in their memory is cut your throat so you can't harm anyone else. Why the fuck is he blaming me? I'm in a fucking Johnny shirt. It wasn't my intention to hurt anyone. Shut your dirty mouth, you scum. I don't want to hear your feeble excuses. To your surprise, the man's eyes well with tears and his shaking body tenses like a locomotive's leaf spring as he draws back his fist. But his jab is awkward and achingly slow. He isn't much of a fighter. <sighs> the moose accent was... Uh, yeah, that's enough out of you. Let him hit you. You let him connect and roll with the punch. An hour from now, you won't even be sore. Judging from the man's expression, the blow hurt him more than you. Despite his passionate, hate-fueled rant, he almost instantly loses his fighting spirit and collapses to his knees. He begins to weep unabashedly like a child. I'm not made for this, all this violence, and to what end? Please just get away from me. I never want to see your stupid face again. Same to you, bud. The man is sobbing softly, muttering the names of his lost friends. There's no use talking to him. Yeah, I, I really didn't think Buddy was going to be a, much of a threat to me. Treasure is so close, just within reach. But in this situation, what use is it? Because I need stuffs, dude. There's a train. Blows normally shouldn't hurt anyone. If so, you might be doing it wrong. Thank you for the clip, Panda. All right, well, we can't go that way. But not every magic user is ready to accept defeat. In the desolated old Wait, can I get over there? 
Gods, some rangers claiming to be weavers continue Ooh, survival. to fight amongst themselves. Sans a structure some that is vaguely resembled Fire Escape now in its final throws. Someone is consider outlines. of considerable agility might be able to climb it as long as it stays vertical, though a misstep could likely lead to a most unfortunate end. All right, did we go for it? Full contact blows. Lol. Oh, just don't sneeze. Fuck it, let's do it. Success. I don't know if that was the right choice, but it's the choice we made. Look at that, look at that sexy ambulance. Vehicle's brakes are completely seized. Otherwise, it would have rolled on and crashed long ago. The ignition key is conspicuously absent. You must either search for the key or attempt to resolve the brake problem. Wow. Wow. All right. And there's... I don't know what's up with the, all these rifts either. Those portals are making me wondering. The pale person on the ground doesn't respond to his brother's calls. He's in dire straits. It seems his time is running out. Please, help my little Timmy. He still has so many years ahead of him. Let me take a look at the wound. A fractured bone is sticking out of the torn leg. It seems the bone was damaged the blood vessel because the blood is gashing out in quantities incompatible with life. The victim is in deep shock and ignores everything around him. We got a chance. Roll less or equal to 50. <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> wow. You try to with your entire and try to apply a makeshift bandage around his leg. Unfortunately, bandage isn't enough. The blood continues escaping the confines of the body, and with it, the life leaves the man. He's not breathing anymore. No, no, you cannot just go like that. What about Mary? What about the little house you so much wanted? I, tr I tried. <laughs> wow. Wow. Whatever got to them wasn't here to eat but to mutilate. Wow. Loot. Steel bars, bolt, and five more doll hairs. Yay, I now have six doll hairs. Um, wait. Oh. oh the, 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 this map is deceptive. Oh wait, no, that's, that's back down there. Okay. We gotta go through the portal. the car by force or steel bar check the brake cylinder the other leg guy just like yeah I know dribble I know we're gonna use the steel bars um. <laughs> fuck that guy <laughs> wow <laughs> uh, okay then the ongoing clash between the mages and was the source of that terrifying disease. You don't get XP if you just kill people? Apparently. The corpse of a well-dressed man lies on cold stone. Got a bolt in the head. For some reigniting chaos is an opportunity. Search the corpse. Loot that body? No, loot that. Only a drug prescription for Jerome Glaster. All the money was taken. Well, that's not helpful at all. Alright. Loot. One more doll hair. From here, it all looks... No. Oh. Okay. I 
can't help those people? Nope, I can't get over there. All right, we keep going. Hey, you guys. On a count of three, one, two. Oh, oh! Maybe don't? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Wow. <laughs> this game has zero chill. Uh, look who's here, one of the instigators of our little apocalypse. I hope you're enjoying the view. You worked so hard to bring it to pass. Watch us now. May it bring you joy. Let's go, darling. One. Up. Uh, like. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point. This is bananas. I don't know what one guy... Well, there's the dragon. I don't know... Oh. Oh, shit. I don't know what one dude in a fucking Johnny shirt's gonna do. I promise this isn't a Warhammer 40k game. <laughs> At least I don't think. It's a personal diary. I'm not. Wait, what? Um, am I not allowed to record my thoughts and perhaps pass them on when I die? Because the histories have been twisted to support the current regime's agenda. Thank you for the lurk, Matt. I'm gonna stop watching because I think I'm gonna buy this and play this one. No worries, Matt. I'm not familiar with it. I'm afraid I'm not much of a reader. What? Where am I? And who are you? Curious. But let us move on. Many of these entries are needlessly provocative. For example, every day I witness yet another family selling everything they own to move to this incredible new world. The newspapers haven't stopped shouting about it. Apparently, technological progress is booming, and daily drudgery is being steadily replaced by automation. Right? The people are I don't know what's happening. Why do we never hear Maybe that wasn't a real thing? I cannot shake the feeling that the world is falling apart on all sides and the powerful care not in the slightest, while we must smile and pretend to be I'm still happy. just in my underwear and a Johnny shirt. Audacious. Do you realize that this passage by itself justifies a quite harsh sentence? They're just words. Come on. Hardly what I'd call a crime. That was just the first entry. Every page is rife with distressing theories. Apparently I missed some dialogue, but... Do you not agree that notions such as these pose a real threat to the world? No. I see. You do realize everything that happened is entirely due to your ignorance and arrogance. Everyone who trusted you, believed in you, and every event that led us to this point, you don't even grasp the magnitude of your responsibility, do you? What? <laughs> <laughs> right? I can still fix everything. Each one of these notes perfectly illustrates your insistence on meddling in matters which do not concern you. Let's read another one, shall we? Ah, right here. Something weird is happening over there. I can feel it. Everyone's talking about folks going missing. And what are that deranged dwarf who is shouting about experiments? Even if a word of it is true, I shudder to think what's become of those people, of my people. Exploiting the common folks, superstition to undermine technological progress. What's next? Tales of impossible monsters and phenomena that challenge those laws of reality we worked so hard to establish. Utter nonsense. What? 
But however distasteful I find this, we must proceed. Ah, here is some of the reasoning, <laughs> if such a word even applies, behind your conclusions. Who the hell are you to stick your nose in my personal papers? That's probably what Human I would say too. Human mind functions in curious ways. If a problem doesn't directly affect us, we tend to think ourselves immune. But as I see the iron plague continue to spread all around me, it feels like a noose tightening around my neck. Helen, my first love, died a few weeks ago. I don't know what to make of that. Her parents will not visit her grave. They're that afraid of getting it. Jesus. Uncle Victor hasn't spoken in over a week. His skin has turned to a flaky, oxidized crust, and his breathing is labored. The I don't hell? Know how long it will last? I hope for a miracle, but they seem increasingly rare these days. Even now, I can hear the metallic rattle of Aunt Hilda's joints. She keeps on smiling, even as the Iron Plague devours her without respite or mercy. All I can do is pray the disease doesn't take them all. <laughs> the hell is this game? If there's any chance to save them from this awful death, I'll take it, no matter the cost. They raised me, after all. I... Hey, Windless. Not too bad. I had to at least do something. Silence! Oh, what about this one? Right in the middle of the chaos you created, my journey has led to my meeting both magicians and technologists and to question everything going on around me. Is it fair to mistreat someone just because they're different? Why couldn't we have found some resolution, some middle ground? If a different road had been taken, there wouldn't be any iron plague. Do you honestly think no one tried to prevent this bloodshed? The oh, laws no, the church is a judge. I don't know what authority has to judge me, but... How dare you challenge them? Yeah, the, the, it looks fantastic. It's just bananas and creepy. I stand by what I said. War is evil. And now we come to the proof that you're the one who started all this. How is it my the fault? The debacle is your fault. The odds are not good, I know, but it still bothers me that there's been no word from any of the emigrants to the new world. So I've decided to risk it. They're not asking much in return, after all. Only the unwoven filament. The task should be no challenge for someone like me. I assume I'm going to get knocked back in time. There it is. In your own words, you're nothing but a thief. They'll get to see your ass in a hospital gown as punishment. Yeah. You're twisting it all around. That's not what I wrote. Silence. These are your words. I smuggled the unwoven filament onto a ship heading for the new world to the Tatterhold Seaport. There I will meet with Red Simon's contact. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff? We gotta play out the scene now. That seems to be the way this is headed. The question is, will my choices matter? Or is it all preordained? I'm gonna get into story games like this, but my meds are being changed up and I can't focus on anything that's not bright colored kids' games. I hear ya. You have to, you know, depending on the person, that could either be biblical, right? Sometimes, you know, I, I'm set and ready to go for these games, and other times I just can't with them. The interminable voyage from the old world is finally over, and the relentless Yay, I've got clothes. has at last slackened its grip. You inhale deeply and let the warm sea breeze fill your senses. Apparently that was the prologue. The cries of gulls fill the air. 
alongside the chatter of folk on the bustling docks. Your heart quickens with anticipation as you take that first decisive yeah, it started step off with Grace and Brown. The new world awaits. But before you're free to embrace this new chapter in your life, there's the customs officer to deal with. A young man in an ill-fitting uniform presides, papers strewn before him on the wooden tabletop. With an air of long-practiced indifference, he begins to read from a crumpled form. Good day to you, sir or madam. Let me be the Good first to welcome you to the, to the new world. A place without hey, poverty, whatever hunger, works. or war. A place you know, where if it works everyone for you, can why achieve not? their dreams, etc., etc. You can become anyone you wish in the new world. A warrior, a magician, the president. Together we can make this the perfect home for everyone. A place where anything... <coughs> Please, pass me your documents and join the line. What a load of bullshit. Can we get this over with already? An elf, then. Welcome to the new world. You're really fucking you observant. Yes. Maybe are, it was the uh, ears wise, that gave it away? I don't know. Race. Hopefully, an elf then. No fucking shit. Society. Fucking Please humans. Please one who treats you with prejudice. And not all elves are antiquated warlocks, right? LOL. Please step forward for a customs check. You need to make sure you're not carrying anything illegal. Yeah. Surface inspection indicates the new arrival is not a magical being, has no visible signs of corruption. No, I'm not a magical no being. evident symptoms of the iron plague. Nor do I observe any kind of smoke, magical glow, unusual light refraction, or other manifestations yeah, that's still of a thing. or unregistered magical I couldn't items. code. I, I did Looks like we're done see. Here. Head on through and, and good luck basic. in the new world. Like don't break the law and don't join any magical 30 years ago. organizations. That was Have the closest I did got to coding. I, I coded a little choose your own adventure game on the uh, early Texas Instruments PC I had. But other than that I just I just couldn't 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 do it. Don't break the law and, okay, wait. A giant is supposed to meet me here. Name of Mick Mortensen? Is there a meeting point near here? Thanks! You have a good day. Perk unlocked. Law-abiding citizen. It remains a mystery why the policeman himself cannot see the contrast between alleged rights of the locals and reality. The urge to laugh at what you've heard puts you in a playful mood. Your mockery increases by five. <laughs> yes, I'm mocking you. I'm a mockingbird. You're a mockingbird. Making games is fun. Who needs mana when you have a high caliber? The best rifles in the Steam Burns shop. Well, it's fantastic that you have a goal and you're working to achieve it. Well fucking done. We're just gonna take the random looty loot. I'm an upstanding citizen as I loot all of these containers. <laughs> Because that's what an upstand. I mean, that's what you do. Use whatever you have to fuel you to go further. And do I'm not stealing. Now, there's steel, and then there's loot. Apparently, those are different things. We're just gonna keep looting. Take everybody's doll hairs, apparently. Because this must be the poor part of town. Because I'm only finding like five or five or between one and five doll hairs. Hey, Martin Owl Man. This thin, natally dressed young man is plainly distressed about something. His face is red and streaked with tears, and his eyes are roving wildly in every direction. The ground at his feet is littered with cigarette butts. 
Exactly, Tribble. Hello, sir. Are you in any kind of trouble? Give him a slap. Hey, buddy, are you okay? That sounds like Matt's answer. Oh, go with, hello, sir? He mumbles to himself so he hadn't heard you. Now he seems to be looking straight through you. All right, snap out of it, dude. You slapped the young man lightly on the cheek, but it has no effect for dislodging a bit of ash from the cigarette between his teeth. Slap him again. Wake up, what happened to you? His head slowly pivots in your direction. Finally, he registers your existence. The instant he blurts out a reply, the cigarette flies like a bullet from his mouth and burns your cheek. Luckily, the sub subsequent rain of spittle soothes the injury. Wow. What happened? The Milton and Sons Carrier Company screwed up. Screw up is what happened. They lost my luggage. They just destroyed me. Give them the mat happenings. Yes, exactly. I carried that fucking suitcase 8,000 kilometers to claim my goddamn inheritance to get my money. I have a, to present a family heirloom as proof of my identity. And it was in that very same fucking suitcase. But of course, you can't bring it down the gangway yourself. Why not? Because it could hit another passenger. Now they're telling me the fucking insurance company will reimburse me? Morons. If this thing is so important to you, why didn't you hold it in your hand instead of using a suitcase? Do we make the roll? Let's make the roll. All our rolls suck, but... Wow! Three fail... I got an... I got... I got an achievement for three failed rolls in a row. And we just pissed Buddy off. This is only a $25 game? Yes. It's just in early access, though, so do keep that in mind. So I expect some things to be wonky, but yeah, it's not super expensive. After a quick run, he gazes past your shoulder rather than meet your eyes. When he answers, his voice has dropped to a whisper. I have absolutely zero interest in the circumstances under which you might find it, but if you do, I promise I'll reward you. It's an ornately carved piece of wood. I mean, I, I play a lot of those too. But oh, there's... There's... God damn, there's so many duders. Corwin Warna wanted dead or alive. Apparently, Valheim. Uh, I still have to play Valheim. Good day to you. How can I help you? What's interesting going on here? I've heard they plan a play starring Primrose Pennell. Last time I saw her on stage, it was such a delight. What do you celebrate? Mr. Zindo organized it all to celebrate our prosperous city and its autom automation history. Let me play one. It, it's on my to-do list. I just need to find the time and motivation. Well, I may have to put it in rotation to... Generous amount of breadcrumbs are scattered on the pier and a fish is peeking out of the water. It reminds you of a cat hovering around a man cutting fish in his kitchen. Well, oh well. Oh, I may have to stream it soon then. Throw it some breadcrumbs. As you're about to throw a handful of breadcrumbs, the fish leaps out of the water and snatches the food from your hand in an exquisite pirouette. And you, Matt, can go sailing and I can make the happy bees? All right, we'll, we'll set something up then to do the things. <laughs> roll less or equal to 15. I have failed all of my rolls. Do I try again? Are you gambling? No, I'm playing a game. I'm not gambling. Oh. I'm trying to catch a fish with my very low athletic skill. <laughs> well, I'm doing it anyway. LOL. I should have left the fish alone. Uh, they're in my coat, which is hung up. In the closet? In the thing, I mean? How do I open my inventory? There we go. Yay, I got some gloves. LOL. Finding all the doll hairs. Yep. What's that? 
A history of magic, witchcraft, and the occult? Okay. Yay, a revolver! And a certificate. Good lord. Use the crane. I was gonna say, if I fail that one, I'm gonna cry. So I haven't beaten all the bosses. Wow. Steam tech is one thing I know my dude can do. Steam tech and diesel tech. Fighting bandages. And some liquor and 200 doll hairs. They're just giving me all the goodies. This seems like stuff Matt would wear. Two health, one armor. Two health, two accuracy. We got, we got our pistolas. Oh, I can't have both. Okay. But I can have gloves. Got it. Can I read this? The character creation, it... It's kind of basic, but at the same time, I mean, that's entirely possible, Tribble. It's interesting, but there's like, there's the choice between human and elf, and then there's only two unlockable classes for your character. But I think maybe you can unlock more as you go along. But uh, it's, it's interesting. It's got some options. The Curious History of Magic and the Power of the Earth Cults Witchcraft, Ritual, and the Imagination, from their earliest appearances to modern times. Okay, that's all I can do. What is this? Another useless piece of paper. LOL. So, but you, you have to, like, you do, there's some stat stuff that you can do, and some, some traits and stuff that you can select, so it's got a bit of crunch to it. But it's it's a curious mix of the two. Light piston and another fish. In case of tech outage, don't wander into the wilderness. Stay on the way. Stay on the railroad. Stay on the railroad. Oh my God. Support Wayne Zindu, the director of Eastern Syndicate. Still not finding the duder that I need. Some more gloves and some sulfur waste. Yay. Because that's a good use of our time. All the majors have to register w within the local department of techn of the technology, technological, sounds like I should explore the wilderness, technological syndicate. Let's see, nothing over there? No. Is that fortune cookie dispenser? I can get a fortune cookie? Empty bottle of booze. I'm gonna pack rat everything because I have no reason not to. Hello there, enjoying the celebration. <clears throat> What's interesting going on here? Oh, there are many things to enjoy in the sunny Tatterhold. You can find various vendors selling everything a newcomer may need. Not to ignore the attractions in the port. Maybe you want to rest, test your aim, strength, or wit, or even gamble a little. In either case, you've covered. Mr. Zindo took care of us. Why do you celebrate? I don't know, but I heard there's going to be an incredible play with some famous actors. All right, then. Thanks for telling me nothing. Spend one dollar, get a fortune cookie. Let's do it. An eccentric inventor will offer you a clock that runs backwards. Remember, yesterday's dinner was excellent.
I, that's, that's some kind of fortune cookie. I suppose that's the guy I'm looking for right there. He's got a thing on his head. The new arc lines. We create bridges through the wilderness. Let's keep the new world connected. Yay, I found my dude. Feeling lucky, folks? Place your bets on Michael Mortensen. Odds are five to one against. You're certain that fellow holding the Crimson Arrow sign just announced the very person you're supposed to meet on the docks. Oh, no. Wow. That's amazing. I never would have guessed that. I'm going to go this way instead. <laughs> Self-tapping screw with a left-handed thread? That's oddly specific. I hope I can find my things. Yay! What the fuck is that? Now in combat mode, combat proceeds in rounds during which every character gets a turn to perform their actions. All right, so that's the camera for moving. Block negates, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Dodge, armor, health, death, right. Activate abilities, reaction abilities, secondary points, move points. That happened way too fast, but okay. Fifty doll hairs, magic form, moonshine. They can be used to obtain magic cards. Alrighty, no worries. Appreciate the dark windless. You do what you need to do. Okay, apparently I can't do that right now. Has unique abilities. So reload pistol, dual shot, sprint, trick shot, punch, block, preemptive shot. Yeah, okay. Action points, it's all I understand the basics of this. The the it's the fucking way rolls work to throw me off. An angry man confronts for you. You better have an explanation for your actions. You think stealing is a jug punk? Get ready for some not so funny consequences. Deception. Look, that drowner stole drowner stole a lady's hat. Sorry, there's a bunch of shady characters hanging around today. Good luck finding your bag. Let's continue stealing. Cranial voodoo staff. That's... That's something. Good luck. I'm finding everything but my stuff. My luggage is definitely not here. All right, let's go find Buddy. Back off, Tramp. Well, wait. Step into the future with Doctor Director of Zin Zindo's groundbreaking A nine zero two one zero nine zero two zero. I almost said nine zero two one zero. What? 
Experience the dawn of a new era in technology. Come see for yourself. The future is at your fingertips. Strange that this metal colossus doesn't speak to advertise itself, leaving one to admire its size alone. Technology? Ex yeah, we'll examine it. Whew. You know a little about the A90 series. The controller that drives the speech module is on the right side of his neck. There are a few wires protruding from the access point. You raise your hand to your own neck and the automaton copies your motion, then repairs itself. You are the past error, but I am the fu future. I w will never error. I am the future and never to die, never error. The touch face pales and he coughs deliberately several times as he serendipitously tugs a small wire to place on the A9020. His eyes lock onto yours, recognizing your close scrutiny. Hey, my friend, I've got a little treat for you. A special discount at my store in the capital. Nothing but top-of-the-line gadgets, tried and true. But let's you and me keep this little glitch our secret. I mean, I'll take a free discount. He discreetly ta slips a coupon folded around several bills into your pockets, and then he turns and kicks the Atomon's restart panel with a muffled thud. I mean, I'll take a discount. Why not? Don't need wages, get low maintenance. Oh, wow. Well. Wow. Well. Explore the frontier. Cheap land for the bold and daring. Get my shoes turned? Nope. Mm. Ad break! Yeah, I don't have money for that. Test your knowledge and make money? Sure. Let's dive straight into the challenge. For your first test of wit and wisdom, tell me, what, dear contestant, is the illustrious capital of the free states? Speak your answer loud and proud. Try it. Who, pray, holds the reins of power and governs the illustrious free states? The tax syndicates. Hey, Muffin. What's up? Is it ancient or is it gleaming, whirling wonders of technology? Speak your mind and make your choice. It's technology. Ah, uh, well, we tried. Can't, can only do it once? Wow. All right, let's maybe not do that then. Yeah. Behold, we have a champion among us. That was a display of remarkable precision. Heartiest congratulations to you, esteemed sir. Step forward and claim your prize. 150 bucks? I'll take it. Check my balance in my inventory. How much do I have? Where is it? 582 doll hairs. Ooh, thank you. I will take that. I don't know if I want the rifle or the pistols. Pistols make sense in close quarters like this.
I just want to talk to Mick. I guess we're gonna watch the fight first. Just in time for the ad break to end. Oh no! Mick lost and it's all my fault. Damn. That brawl was a real cracker. Up until your grand entrance, that is. How is it my, my fault? It feels like a plate of mashed taters now. And I'm not loving it. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. But you could have chosen a less no-stumping moment, huh? Really sorry it turned out like this. It's not your fault, mate. Everything will be okay. Okay. Worst case scenario. I'll buy myself a beer or three. All right. It seems we got off to a bit of a rocky start. Let's wipe the slate clean. Mr. Simon told me a little bit about you. Now it's time I introduce myself. Please do. Name and tell me where my Mortis, stuff is. But mostly folks call me Mick Rosie. I work for Mr. Simon, managing his business affairs now and then. And you? Well, Hi, Mick. Indeed. I'm Angel. Let's get down to brass tacks. In the new world, everyone's got a debt hanging over their head. Me, for example, I have to get you to Mr. Simon. But there's a snag. I took a beating, and now I owe Ernie. Ernie's the bloke with the purse and the trusty notebook. Don't take this the wrong way, me. Not holding a grudge or anything. But I got knocked out because of you. It's a bit of a tangled tale, but now it's you who's got a debt to settle with Ernie. Oh, wow. We're not going wow. anywhere until that's taken care of. You follow me? I mean, I could do it. I can't I try. Drift. Mr. Simon's running out of patience. Wow, I rolled I did a manage one. to scrounge up a little cash. Let's call it a down payment. But the balance is on you, my friend. Best of luck. Just take my money. Splendid. It's all free money anyway. We can go now. By the way, where's your suitcase? Mr. Simon said you would have one. Didn't you pick it up yet? Blast it off. All right. Let's take a look at the luggage belt then. It's got to be there. All right. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Crusher? No. I, I'm not a, I'm not a punchy person. I shoot guns. Can I shoot the guy? If I can shoot the guy, I'll take him. But if you think I'm going to get into fisticuffs with some dude, you are greatly mistaken. What is it? What is it? What's going on here? Some shithead stole my wallet. I'm pretty sure there's a gang or something. They wear sailor vests. Okay. Another a voodoo thing. That must be because if you're playing, if you're playing the the voodoo shaman, it gives you weapons that matches your your specialty. Yay, shoes. Uh-oh. Bit shorter than kids' his age. I always tell them, but... 
blonde hair. He has blonde hair. And he's wearing a red vest. I believe he's very, very frightened right now, my Jimmy. He's not used to being away from home. Oh. All right. Let's go find the kid. Little kid with. That's not a kid. Not down there. I don't think that's a kid either. Is it down there? Not down there. seeing a kid with a red vest anywhere, honestly. Fisher people's... Oh, there's some loot. Yay, three whole doll hairs. Woo! there either. Okay. He must be further in, I guess. Which makes a kind of sense. They put her right there outside the bag, the luggage area. So that you search the luggage area for her kid. All right, all right. We're gonna go through. A police officer in a flashy tech outfit stands on the stoop, engaged in a quiet tete-a-tete -tete with a man. A man. For some reason, this piques Nick's interest. The man delivers a parcel to the officer, who accepts it with a subtle nod, before passing something back in return. Oh. Every few seconds, the cop checks his surroundings, suggesting that this is an... Are they dealing narcotics? Change. Listen up, partner. Or is this bribery? I sort a little something out with Jimmy. But I'll be back in two shakes. Don't you worry. All right. I had a feeling we were gonna get along. Hey, Jimmy, my man. The cop startles at Nick's exclamation, his countenance darkening as he looks up at the imposing giant. It's abundantly clear that he's less than thrilled by Nick's appearance. What do you want, Mortensen? Jimmy, you owe me a little something. And since I'm in the neighborhood, I thought I'd cash in. The oh. policeman's face grows another shade darker as he forces a smile onto his face. Yeah, I think we need to have a little one-on-one -on -one off the record. The policeman nods pointedly in your direction. The policeman's eyes are darting about, and he's breathing in harsh gasps. Yay! I'm somewhat observant. My partner likes getting down to brass tacks. Knew we were on the same page, buddy. Without ever taking his eyes off the police. Uh, I can't with my Nick character. Especially that haircut. Wow. Jimmy hesitates, but only briefly. His gaze snapping from the towering giant to you, then back again. Finally, he lets out a long, reluctant sigh and drops the mysterious package into Nick's massive paw. 
it. Here, they can gag on it, bestie. Wow. Make grins with satisfaction. And keep this between you and me, all right? My word to another living soul. I understand. I'm not a kid in short pants, you know. No, but you could use a shirt. Now that your business is sorted, can we go talk to Simon? Hold on a sec. There's something I've got to take care of. Mech carefully unwraps the parcel to reveal a tiny heap of crystalline powder. It shimmers with different colors in the sunlight. He's going to take oh, some drags. I'd have never made it through the mines without it. I was popping every single day. The work was that brutal. Thankfully, one of them flying critters was a friend of mine. Mick expertly snorts up a dose of orphan. Okay, so fantasy cocaine. What in the world is happening? Do you like giving it a shot? It'll toughen you up. Or no, thank you. A drug which amps up your strength and reaction. Or not. But leads to a painful aftermath later. Moreover, it's highly addictive. Oh, that's my knowledge. Thanks. I'll pass. You've got no idea what you're passing up, pal. I'll take my chances, bro. I don't want your drags. I, I don't want your fairy cocaine. We got ourselves a hat. Yes. <laughs> oh shit. That's amazing. Go on, Mick, catch the crow. Okay, we, we we got ourselves a crow. Wait, can I equip Mick? I can. No, I can't. He's already got stuff. Can I can I give him two armor? Move health. I'll take the reinforced travel shoes actually. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with a whole ass crow, but. What have you got? Can I sell stuff? I don't know that I want to sell anything though. Sell my travel boots? I better keep them actually. Sell the book. And that. Eh. Out there screaming because she's playing a spooky game. Oh, wiener. Before your dwarf stomps in place, he examines the faces of passerbys with a bundle of impatience and anxiety. Now and then, he casts a glance toward his rich wa wrist watch, but swiftly redirects his focus, scrutinizing passerbys for, for elusive something. He's so deeply engrossed in this pursuit that he appears utterly indifferent to all the bustle around. He focused on the march of time and the people on the street only. Deep breath tries to figure out rendezvous, blah 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 blah. Oh, he's waiting for some he's waiting for a lady. Okay, I guess we're taking all the quests. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 
I'll take those. Looking for a lady and a shit. Talk to her, all right. What about you? We're looking at her, without a doubt. A statuesque and tall woman in a white gown appears to be looking around with a mix of confusion and fright. Her fingers anxiously crease the fabric of her dress. She's a giant. Unaware of your approach, the lady continues to shift uneasily from side to side, evidently struggling to locate a suitable vantage point. Are you looking in the direction of that dwarf? He's been waiting for you for a long time. She hesitates for a moment, then proceeds to unleash a torrent of thoughts that have been simmering within her for the better part of six hours. I saw him indeed. I saw you two talking. And I understand how it all looks, but it's just ridiculous. I'm a giant. He's a dwarf. I mean, look at us. I'm not sure anymore. Giants are fiery passion, an unending search, and I, I'm afraid he won't be able to handle my temperament. I'll just forever yearn for something he cannot provide. What will society say? Imagine all those ju judgmental glares. I'm even embarrassed to approach him. It's as if the entire city is watching us. It's not that he's a dwarf. He just seemed different to me, you know? What if he's not what I anticipated in other aspects? What if he's a bully? I don't know. True love will overcome any obstacles. I have a plan. Please wait here. I can't make that roll because there's no way I'll pass it. But you and I will need to help this love a bit to, to make it blossom, my friend. Are you ready? Even though I don't know what to do, I'm ready to undertake literally anything for this meeting. Okay, what? Okay, so the kid's around here, too. But what am I... I'm confused as to what I'm going to be doing for uh, them. Expect. Go for it, Mick. Thank you. This dwarf is openly weeping. Anguish etched on his face. He's surrounded by drained wine bottles, each a testament to his despair. As you draw closer, a noxious but familiar odor wafts over you, the acrid tang of rock gum. The cheapest of spirits. Totally plastic. God, an elf in a fedora with pistols. I can't. Oh my god. Stop bothering me. Damn it. What do you want? Your bags? Nobody can think about Finley McClatchy as long as everything was working. Nobody. Only when it all broke down did they start going, Finley, can you help me with my suitcase? Finley, can you find my purse? What do you want? Let me guess. Is it luggage? I just bet you want some fucking luggage. I just bet you want some fucking luggage. I mean, maybe. Let's try persuasion. It's like this. 
Richard Maxwell Bracefield Paracy III arrived in town two days ago. He's a famous theater director. There's been a shutdown at the station, and Mr. Paracy was invited to entertain any new arrivals until it's sorted out. I've wanted to be an actor my whole life! Whoop. He's so adored that whenever people saw me, they would smile. You know what I mean? So this was the chance of a lifetime for me! But he just grabbed his suitcase and walked on by, didn't even glance in my direction. I'm so clear. I wasn't worth the least bit of his attention. Wow. Yeah, maybe he was just in a hurry, my oh dude. My God, I'm such a fool. I should have thought of that. How could I ever think poorly of Richard Maxwell Gracefield? Uh, having a conversation Bird? with a drunk dwarf is never fun. <laughs> well, this is clearly ain't the job for you. I'm going to tell your boss you're a shithead and you ought to be fired. Maybe that'll cheer you up. I'm not doing that. Oh, thank you so much. We're just going to pick up all the side quests, apparently. At this rate, we missed them. I thought that popped up on my... Bandit's cap? Thieves gloves. Getting all kinds of goodies. I don't know if I should give the stuff to Mick because I don't know if he's going to be around me long enough. And I don't know what to do about this side quest with this lady. Is there... There we go. Get a romantic bouquet of flowers arranged for music. Ah ha ha, okay. To the flower girl. Am I running out of room in my inventory? No, okay. One, five. Five, persuasion? Yeah, I'll keep the persuasion. Um, yeah. All right, Mick, go for it. Nice. Then with a slightly nervous motion, she reaches for one of the bouquets and presents it, her smile growing even more pronounced. Here, it's for you. Come back later. Good job, Mick. Good job, buddy. Who knew Mick the giant was, was so charming? Cracking seeds or something alongside his fellow musicians, it appears they are make, taking a break. Not that any of the passive buyers seem to be sad about it. Gaze falls upon you, inquiring but devoid of any notable enthusiasm. Yes, can I help you? Alright, we're gonna go for persuasion! Wow, I rolled a one. For the sake of love, you say? Well, that's a request we can't turn down. Get your dwarf ready. We'll perform like it's the final love song on some sinking ship. LOL. All right. Let's go, buddy. At long last, might it be that destiny has perchance guided you to her? To her? Hand the bouquet. Let's go, my friend. You're about to give the most challenging and yet beautiful performance of your life oh well this is so thrilling I mean I shared my poetry with her but suddenly his hands clutched in resolute fists he slaps himself and swiftly adjusts his attire fixing his gaze upon you with unwavering determination I myself have advocated the valorous valorous pursuit of love in my poetry so let's go I'm ready to fight for it yeah buddy
As soon as the music stops, you see the dwarves and the giants rush toward each other and start kissing. One might find it poetic, wouldn't you agree? L O L. Aw. True love. Who knows if these holy, contrasting, and eccentric personalities can weather the trials ahead and keep their love alive, but they are together now, so you must have done a good thing. Oh. By the authority invested in this decree, this document entitles its bearer to a reward for their significant contributions to the advancement of the New World Community. XP gained 100. Ooh, yay. And we got some money and a, and a fighter's chest. Well... We know who to give that to. Me, maybe? Six and two. But one, oh, but wait. I can't wear it. Give it to Mick. Hey, Mickey boy. Jesus, that's imposing. <laughs> wow. Wow. One armor, five deception. All right, what's, what, what hold on. What are, what are my skills here? Deception, 32. Persuasion, 35. So it would give me more deception, but I'd rather have persuasion. We'll give it to Mick. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. All right. There's one side quest done. Excuse me, Ossifer. Little kid with a red vest. Look, buddy, I ain't got time for kid stuff. Insight. Persuasion. Insight's higher. Nice. Though it may be, the policeman manages to stammer out a response. Saw some troublemakers around there headed for the arch. Now scram and let me have my lunch. Alright. This arch is, but that's where we're going. Clyde Brave Wave? Push that damn cart over here, will ya? Sure, no problem. Heaven to count out like that, partner, but you do you. You can use an elastic band and to roll the cart back and forth. I was gonna say, if I fail that, I'm gonna cry. Hey, I'll do it. I, I, I need money, so... Wait! No, that's not the kid we're looking for. There he is! Only one boy remains standing before you. He has a shock of blonde hair and is donning a red vest. This is likely Jim, the boy you've been looking for. Notably, the vicinity is strewn with candy wrappers, small toys, a curious assortment. Are you Jim, kid? Uh, Leon, this boy doesn't respond to any words. His vacant gaze seems to transcend your presence. Lost in an unknown, distant unknown, he remains as still as stone, an eerie stillness that almost reflects profound fatigue. Something is missed with the boy. It's likely a result of potent magic. Here we go again. Well, because of becoming an abhorred 
As evidenced by the peculiar marks on his form, his mother should know it. Okay, Jim, if you're hearing me, wait on here, kiddo. I'll go get your mom here. Wow. Wow. Alright, let's go let's go to the mom. The music makes the whole quest sound much more majestic than it actually is. But that's okay. I've got a fedora and a trench coat. This elf is on a mission. Ooh, shit. I found him, but he's at the arch, but he's becoming an abhorred. Eclectic voodoo amulet. Okay. Interview possible wit. Really? Oh, wait. Completed? Okay, completed. There we go. Pick up your luggage. Side quests are done. Finally. Talk to Mick in a quieter place. Considering all, everything that I've got in my pockets, I don't know what could possibly be in my luggage that I don't already have. It's time to move on to the next phase. Because of the recent problems with the train, the main city, the main, the city's main gate is under police lockdown. Sneaking your bag through isn't going to fly. That's where Red Simon's genius plan kicks in. You're going to pose as part of a theater crew who's been hired to welcome the newcomers. That's our move. How exactly is joining a theater troupe going to help us get through the police checkpoint? The troupe can access the tatter hold port via the staff entrance. No one's going to give your bag a second glance there. I'm not an actor. You don't need to be an actor. You're stepping into the shoes of the director's assistant. Easy. All right. What's your plan for me? We've secured an assistant's badge for you. The theater director will be hanging around the square. Find out what he needs, run a few errands for him, and saunter right through the gate of workers. Just like that. Oh, all right. Well, we did say we were going to talk to the director for the dwarf guy who uh, runs the luggage claim. So, wait. Loot. Give me all that sweet, sweet loot. I forgot, I got rings and amulets and... Pantalones? I like pants, give me all the pants. And a rag. But I've got pants. So it gave me more pants. Old light boots. Okay. Survival voodoo magic. Can I, where can I? I can't wear it. I can't wear it. Because I am not a shaman. If that makes sense. A ring of simple design made from iridescent metal, unclear origin. Make it a bit easier to channel celestial magic. This thing was once a giant prosthetic index finger. Jewelry makes it hard to see now. Is the kind of thing that would interest someone in a brothel? Um, okay. I guess we're going to be going to a brothel at some point. Which, I mean, makes sense. Wait, 
Where's my crow? There's my crow. Okay. I've got a crow. I don't know what good it's going to do me, but I've got a crow. I've got a crow and I know how to use it. I really don't. I really don't know how to use it. Caw, caw. Where are you going? Get, get back here. Catch the crow, Mick. Catch the crow. Good job. Now we got two crows. What's better than one crow? Two crows. Apparently. All right, we're going to loot first and then we'll talk to Buddy. Dwarven key. Um, yeah, we'll we'll wait to see if we can get this dwarven key. Why break things if we don't have to? Steam hammer. Wow. Dear Rudolph, I'm energized to hear your bird watching project doing well. I hope you manage to locate all the birds you pursue, and then more. As for your proposition for a meeting, I'd be happy to oblige. Name the, the date and place, and I will come to discuss our interests face to face. Say hello to Mr. Darcy for me. Best regards, Dan Ten. We don't, buddy. Don't be. We don't make mistakes. Well, that's a funky name. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes peeled for Mr. Dan Ten. I wonder where we get that. I wonder if the 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 dwarf at the like luggage claim will give us his key if we uh, talk to that director for him. Probably not. But metal overlay for boot can be used to create st steam power boots. Wow. Fancy boots. There's Dan Ten. Yay, we figured it out. Yeah, we'll take his letter. God damn, this place is huge. And we've only had one instance of combat so far. Hey, Rudolph.
All right, that wasn't a quest quest. It was just a mini quest. You catch the sounds of a heated argument in the square, where a well-dressed dandy is shouting at a syndicate agent. Looks like things are about to get physical. This is unthinkable! Absolutely not! I'm not going to do it! Your edits are a mockery of the performing arts! Richard, it seems you misunderstood. Whoa, 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 not so fast, fellow. It's Richard Maxwell. Gracefield Parisi the third to you. That's Paris with an E. No, of course. But you're deeply mistaken if you think we're asking your opinion on this. The head of the Eastern Syndicate must see the correct version of this play. The one we know he will enjoy. We've already made all the necessary changes. We hired you to direct this performance, and you will do what we tell you to do. Period. This is positively scandalous! You're positively going scandalous! I'm going to faint. That's the end of this conversation. I trust we understand each other now. Oh, my... Sorry! And, and my legs, they're failing me! Oh, I'm going to pass out! Richard Max Definitely a theater kid. Food the third closes his eyes and dramatically flops. And <laughs> we're just standing the there like, the fuck? The syndicate envoy bends over and discreetly places a folder full of papers in the director's hands. Then, after spitting disdainfully to one side, he departs, leaving the director to his feigned unconsciousness. Oh boy. As you watch, the director's right eye opens the nearest crack, followed by the left, each lid rising cautiously. His gaze fixes upon you for a moment. That imbecile is gone, right? That, the goddamn damn ass, ass slicker. <laughs> He's going to pay for trying to force his gibberish on me. A douchebag who's never even had a manicure. Can you believe it? Richard Maxwell Gracefield Parasite. This guy's giving me Daigoji vibes. In characteristically nonchalant fashion, fans himself with a thick fool. Yet his gaze remains locked on me. Mickey, a radiant rosy. And who's this you've got tagging along? I'm running a smidge low on those little pick-me-ups, like. But give me two sunrises and we'll be flying high again. No, of course, another Richard, drug match. Richard, can't you ever keep your trap shut? That's got nothing to do with our business right now. Got it? <clears throat> I see. Uh, what, what do you want, then? I don't want to know what the, the syndicate wants. I'm just worried about the work that I get. Assistant? I thought the world was going to end before you finally showed up. Where the heck have you been? No, don't answer that. I don't care. The whole place is going to hell. <laughs> the local don't answer that. I don't care. The syndicate wants to make changes to my script to please their big boss, the head of the Eastern Syndicate. My script of my play. They want to murder my entire artistic aesthetic with their propaganda. Moreover, there's no way the actors can learn new lines in such a short time. Especially these actors. Uh, have you seen them around, by the way? No. Richard Maxwell Gracefield Palazzi III wrings his hands nervously. But when his gaze returns to you, his eyes come to a sharp focus. Why are you still standing here? Why aren't you racing around solving my problems and carrying out my orders? <laughs> LOL. Can't you see? They're all drunkards! 
I will never, oh. I repeat, never work with a provincial troop ever again. It's almost showtime, but I don't see them getting ready backstage. They're probably wandering around someplace in a daze. <sighs> Find them. Here's a list with all their names. Yes. Oh, please don't fail this roll. Please don't fail this roll. Damn it. Bring him here. Nice. Fantastic. Now move, move, move. We're running out of time. I could have tried for money, but honestly, I don't care. There's Primrose Pennell. Distinguished lady, though her warpath might suggest otherwise, is cursing to herself like a stevedore on a double shift. It seems she's been fighting a sealed suitcase for some time and losing. The good madam is understandably a bit vexed. Damn it all. Another goddamn chipped nail. Got a light, darling. My nerves are absolutely shot. And this is trying to... And this is me trying to kick the habit, if you can believe it. I was convinced they were going to rob me of the whole Violetta. Whispering backstage about my age, as if I should take role of her mother. The audacity. But that Greenfield Parisi... Parise? Such a sweet man. Still sees the star in me. He's a real professional. I'm looking for you. Do you take me for a fool? What am I supposed to do without that dress? Do you expect me to lean, leap up on stage in these rags? The goddamn gown is trapped in that blasted container. And this infernal lid is intent on defying me. Oh. Oops. I'll open it for you. Repair it, because I got the skills, baby. At last, you have my heart filled tonight. Thanks, my dear. But the spotlight beckons, and I m mustn't keep it awaiting. Ta-ta! There's one. There's loot. Loot! Give me all your loots. Give me all your monies. All your doll hairs. Talk. I don't need to talk. No popo. Mm -mm. Watermelon cellar. That means at some point there might be a reason that I need a watermelon. Why else would I talk to the seller of watermelons? Landon Baxter. Well, I sure as heck didn't sign up for this. Now did I? He doesn't notice you approaching. Excuse me, are you Landon Baxter? Yeah, I am. Just another hapless actor in this long forgotten theater. May every one of them be damned. What do you need anyway? The director is looking for you. Please return to your dressing room. Fuck him and his random whims. You tell him that. Make it loud and clear. Do you have a problem with the theater? Yes, I have a problem. They want me to play some damn mage. This Nero... Nero guy? An aberrant? Can you believe it? They're asking me, Landon Baxter, a third-gen technologist? I didn't sign up for this crap, and I sure as heck ain't gonna do it. Honestly, I, I'm a technologist, so yeah, I'd be annoyed too. Oh, brother, you get it all right. I couldn't face my parents after that. They disowned me for sure, or worse. I might never get a lead role in a play again, you know. And do you know actors who portray villains get paid less? What's your take on that? Persuasion, intimidation. Sounds like the money is the main issue. I'll sweeten the deal with an extra cash. How does it feel? Um. Oof. When in doubt, bribery. 
Uh, I'm gonna go f the, the, the full gangster route. Oh, I wish you said that at the start. Off to the dressing room I go then. <laughs> LOL. All right, we gotta go talk. We gotta go back and talk to our luggage guy. Oh! Oh, that was my shit. I am absolutely going to save scum. And save myself 60 bucks. <laughs> I have no shame. I'm going full gangster with this playthrough. I'll do whatever it takes to win. Oh, now I gotta do these parts again? That's fine. We can speed run it. People watching on YouTube later are like, what the hell are you doing? Done. Now, is this, it's the same stuff? It's the same stuff. All right, cool. Cool beans. We're going to ignore Langdon Baxter. And there's an ad break inbound. Let, let's get to, let's get to our dwarf guy. Yeah, I don't care. Fuck you. Costing me sixty dollars. Hell no. I'll talk to the guy who would do it for free. Maybe get his key. If I don't get a key from this, I'm gonna cry. I'll be like, I did that for nothing. Little has changed since your last. You again? I mean. I'll try it. I'm too Boo. Boo. He didn't give me the key. Wah. Oh well. Because we failed the roll. Do we have Mick smash the box or do we skip it? I think I'll wait and we'll see what happens. Honestly. The elf is resting on the bench, squinting contentedly at the sun. The point at tips of his ears moves slightly in time with music. His left hand is a in his left hand is a glass of bubbly golden wine. As you're about to speak, he raises his right hand and delicately presses his index finger to his lips, urging silence. I should be abundantly evident, my dear. I am engaged in matters of high importance. At this very moment, I am immersed in the ethereal harmonies of my people's ancient music. Do not disturb me not. Raises his glass to his mouth again. However, only a few drops remain. Oh, how tragically unsurprising. The wine ran dry as you arrived to intrude upon my moment. You marred the splendor of my final sip. Indeed, I am blah, 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 blah. I don't give a shit. I don't have any liquor. Oh, God. What have you got? Beer, beer, moonshine, moonshine. don't need... I only need one. Thank you. I'm going to make sure I don't have any already. I already have some. Never mind. Have I got anything else? Oh, I've got Celestial Amber. Oh, but, but it's expensive. Do I really want to waste it on this dude? Oh. Ah, YOLO. I'm going to be replaying this once it goes into 1.0 launch anyway, so. 
by the heavens and authentic celestial amber. Even the most elite wine connoisseur speaks of this treasure in hushed reverence. And you and your infinite generosity are making a gift of it to me? Yeah, let's go. I'm probably going to regret that, and I don't care. Let's see. Chance 8%. All right. We'll leave it alone. We'll leave it alone. An 8% chance to break that box? Not worth the effort. It'll probably destroy whatever's in it. solved my problems yet what took you so long there's only minutes left until the show no, starts and the sake. actors aren't ready there wasn't any time for them to study the syndicate's nightmare script this is going to be a disaster i'm picturing it already <gasps> my violet forgetting her lines in front of everyone listen you're my last hope i need you to work as our prompter I'm sure you can distinguish between my oh my god what and the syndicate's disgusting propaganda well this has got to be a magnum opus did you say something giant <clears throat> go to the prompters booth and get to work and hurry up you're kidding hey, right hello there fire Oh my god. And divine ladies, welcome to the exclusive, incredible, and ultra modern New World. I hope your trip here was as magical as my new hairstyle. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard about those few small bumps you faced along the way, but that's all in the past. It's time to move forward into the future. Now, Hold on tight, my friends, because the real star is about to appear. The boss of the gigantic Eastern Syndicate, the incomparable Wayne Zindo. Take the microphone. Of course. Welcome, newcomers to our land. A land that lives and breathes freedom. At this point, I would normally be handing you a glass of wine while we all relax and have a nice chat, but today's circumstances call for a little improvisation. As you may have guessed, Dude looks scary. <laughs> we've had a small problem with transportation. The train to New Ark has been delayed, but don't worry. Letta Jean and her team are already addressing this unpleasant issue. And when our system-wide automation is complete, such inconveniences will be nothing but a memory you reach this doesn't sound good me, at all and i guarantee it will be all the more thrilling for the wait in the interim the syndicate has prepared a special gift for you a drama arranged by new Arts acclaimed stage director richard maxwell gracefield Paracy the third Paracy. Mr. Gracefield Paracy and his troop will put on a performance of the broken heart of the enchanted. <laughs> I'm sitting the there like a wiener. In hand, where not a single line has managed to evade the conspicuous scrawl of a red pen. Zindo's underlings have revised the entire text, transforming the director's vision into an extended series of advertisements. This is not going to go well. Worse, the actors haven't had time to commit these revisions to memory. Now you must step into the spotlight and guide everyone through the tsunami of altered text. But first, you must decide whether to stick to the original script or navigate the Syndicate's adaptation. Today, you will witness a love story unfold. Oh boy. And a vicious trap sprung, all in a sea of blood. Let this be a warning for any who dare bridge the gap between technology and magic. Nario, 
dear Nario. This oh, loves a snare. For magic and technology clash and flare. Their realms apart, they shan't entwine. Screw the Eastern Syndicate. We're just going to go full steam ahead. My sweetest violets, defy this decree. Magic smikes thy world's not to me. Oh, Nerio, the weaver's darkest blight. Their reckless magic turned day to night. We must respect the laws and ne'er sway. I'm going to make an enemy of the Eastern Syndicate. I'm going to get myself dead. I don't care. Worth the risk. Herald, mark my words, thou shalt see. Great power from the rifts mine shall be. Weaver's gifts, I'll claim them all. My might and magic, they shall enthrall. Nereo. Beware! This the dialogue's a little off sync. That could be me, though. Heed the thought! Heed the thought! Such great power you can't control in the realm's creation. Automatons make their stance. This one. Such great power you can't control. It shall consume thy very soul. My dear Gerald, thy fears I will ignore. I crave this magic and I must have more. And Violet's my heart's desire. Her love and power shall all transpire. Violet, fair Violet. I know her well. Her heart is in science, not some spell. To woo her with magic would be a ruse. And such dark intentions she must refuse. Hearts entangled in this perilous strife, a clash of realms portends doom in life. But now what? Um, trust in the syndicate's might. No. Their destinies entwined in dark dismay. A balance lost. Hearts left. I'm gonna get astray. somebody killed. <laughs> it's Nerio, probably gonna be me. Dear Nerio, we must now part ways. For magic's darkness obscures your gaze. Really? Lost creed and sorrow, we must part. decree in sorrow we must part I feel like I'm choosing between the, 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 the community and Jojo Mart at this point no violet you can't break free it's clear my soul is bound to dark magic my dear oh Nario your poor, poor guy's trying his best extreme. lol Oh well, it's cheaper than giving that other guy 60 bucks. We Fuck that guy. Bridge the gap betwixt realms so fast. For magic and tech allied can't last. Beware of magic. Upright and fair. It tempts and beguiles, but can't truly care. Love a friendship with a mage by bear in the blink of an eye mage turns nightmare thank you thank you oh god bless your heart oh, that was my script damned artists hey watch the threads hey hey let go of me hey get your hands oh up. no you know who i am hey hey let me ah, ah. oh boy Endless interrogations until the 
the audience has spent its money on drinks and nothing's left to donate to us. For the news, people control access to the town, so our chances today are slim. But if you have 80 bucks, I might have a little trick to get, get us under their noses. But remember, darling, I'm only giving you a way in. Once we're gone, there's no way back. Zindo's people won't be able to handle an unregistered pedestrian with such a suspicious suitcase. I have a few things to do here first. I want to go talk to our, our buddy at the... Uh, the the dwarf. If he's back at his back at his job, maybe he'll give us the key. He's not there. Sugar. Alright. Maybe he's still back at the other place. We've also got an ad break coming, so I'm, I'm trying to... fiddle around so that we don't have an ad break during story shenanigans. Where is he? Is he, is he here? I don't think he's here. Wait. Um. No, he's gone. Damn. Alright. Well, looks like we're just gonna have to do the thing. Made it difficult on myself. Let's do it. Somebody saw us. Sugar. Wayne Zindo is an ambitious executive at Eastern Syndicate. It was he who introduced the mass production of automatons. Of course it was. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. Well... Yay! Guns and other funds. To level up. Oh, wait. Enough experience points to level up your character, open the inventory, look for your stats. Oh. Wow. Okay. What can I. I've got five skill points. Tesla tech? Nani? Really? I can't level up my stats, just my skills. Okay. I've only got five points. I've got diesel tech. Deception. Two points in observation. Yeah. Can I put that steam hammer? No, I can't. I can't use those, can I? Give it to Mick. Don't really have anything else. 
I got a bunch of I got a bunch of guns. I don't know if I need to hang on to those or not. That is a really good question. Hmm. Gonna make Mick charming. Oh, oh, it's either gloves, two, one, twelve plus one d ten. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It means we can give Mick gloves. There we go, and a hammer. All right. Sorry, Twitch, there's an ad break coming. Talk to Simon. Oh, there's a crowbar. Of course there's a crowbar there. I think this is actually going to be a natural ending spot. So, yeah, we're going to find somebody to raid. So guys, enjoy the ad while I go find somebody to raid. Huh? Well, um, and we'll pick this up later. Guys, yeah, I do need to go to bed. I got work in the morning. Do I have anybody I really want to raid? <laughs> Uh, you know what? We'll keep we'll we'll keep it in the family. It's been delightful. We're gonna go raid bargain because it's bargain. Who's playing? Sleeping dogs. I'll be on tomorrow for tomorrow for a bonus co-working stream in the afternoon maybe but uh, we'll see otherwise i love your faces i'll catch you later